Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Faces Artist and welcome back to World of Warcraft. In this video, we're taking a look at the Stratholm Dungeon, which can be found in the Eastern Plaguelands, which can be found in the Eastern Kingdom. Now in order to get to here, what you can do is actually just head on over to Undercity, then fly on over here. In order to ha get to Undercity, you can take the teleport from Ogrimmar to Silvermoon City. From Silver Moon City, click on the uh, big uh, bright red orb that's behind the main guy of the Blood Elves. It's located one flight up the stairs from him. They'll lead you to Under City, then you can fly. If you're from the Alliance, you can just fly from Ironforge and I, I don't know, just pick up uh, the flight path along the way for future reference. But in any case, Stratholm can be found here. Now, Stratholm is split up into two instances. The first and main entrance is located over here. The other one is located over here at the Eastwell Gate. <coughs> I will actually show you both of them and both of the sides of Stratholm. Uh, because basically for Stratholm, if I'm not mistaken, Strat... Show nine results, Stratholm. Yeah, it requires that you defeat two, uh, two of them. So essentially we're just going to head on over here to the first side and I'm going to guide you through it. Now in Sathom you can actually get some blacksmithing plants, some enchanting plants, you know, all for classic. Uh, but that's more of a, you know, of a collection basis. There is also the mount that drops from uh, Baron Death Riven there. It is the Death Charger and he also drops the big sword, which is a nice transmog item. It has only a 3% chance to drop. Right, I totally forgot. Uh, first of all, we need to take care of the dead side, then... We'll be able to head on over to Crusader Square by actually heading on through uh, the other passage that I talked about. But for now, we're just going to need to go ahead and clear out. Uh, well, basically, you don't have to take care of all of the zombies, but it is recommended because they can drop some nice goodies. But basically, we're just going to head on over here and we're just going to start dropping off uh, all of the enemies that we can. Now I do like to stack them all up and just take care of them at once. And yeah, I'll basically notify you about the boss as we go near it. And I'm guessing we can take the Baroness on Sound Tree. Uh, most of the bosses are just a one shot anyways, so that it's not that much of a big of a deal, in all honesty. You can get some nice green items that you can perhaps take for Transmog or just Disenchant it if you're into that. In any case, uh, the main premise is to take care of all three of them uh, so we can actually disable the ziggurats. So we're just going to take care of the Baroness and we're just going to head on over here, take care of the Thalazdin Acolytes and that will disable one of the Ashari Crystals. Then what we're going to want to do is just head on over to the next boss and Rinse and repeat, essentially. Okay, so here is the uh, Nerub Nekan. Basically, it's a one shot. Then, basically, once you one shot him, just basically disable all of these guys in here as well. There you go, as you can see, the counter will actually head from one to two. Next up, we're just going to want to exit out of here. And we're going to go to Malakid the Paled which is right then over here, we can basically just head on through here. Now if you're not fast enough, a bunch of these rats will appear, but you can just take care of them easily. Now, uh, yeah, right, there is the boss. Uh, you can either just gather up all of the mobs over here if you do want to farm them out. Uh, because they can drop some pretty nice stuff, in all honesty. Especially if you're a tailor, you can get plenty of uh, cloth here. It's one of the one of the places to farm it out. But since I'm already recording, might as well, you know, not make another cut. There we go, just one shot him. Nice. Go ahead and disable this ziggurat real quick. There we go. And that will trigger the next phase, which is the abominations. Defeat the guard in the slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse is over here. 
but we're, we will get to that because you have some optional side encounters that you can do as well but for now I can hear his magister Batalala leaks is like a bonus objective it's just a one shot as well you will get the key to the city sometimes but that is more of a collectible than anything else uh, because it serves no purpose in all honesty not as far as I can tell uh, then next up once we're here we're just going to want to take care of all of these uh, abominations nice let's go ahead and do that and once we actually take care of all of these abominations, we will need to fight uh, Rotgut, I believe. There we go. Nice, uh, Rammstein, the Gorger. Then just go ahead and take care of him. Quest to Retribution. Now that's a nice shield, in all honesty. Okay, the Fit Black Guard Sentry. Okay, that's going to be a little bit over here, I believe. Okay. Okay, we're just going to wait a little bit. They're going to send a bunch of mindless undead at us, and sooner or later... There we go. Who dares deserves our master. And you will get five of these black guard uh, sentries. Then what you're going to want to do is just defeat them. Loot them. Then what you're going to want to do is just take care of Baron Revendier. He's the one that drops the cool sword and the mount, obviously. Yeah. And there we go, that's half of the dungeon done. Then you can talk to him to get a quest. Uh, and that will open up this side over here. And we're just going to want to head on through here. Okay, apparently, by heading over to Eastwall Gate or Stratholm, it will take you first to the undead side. We did that, and then once you actually cleared out the undead side, you should be able to get into the live side. And you get to the live side by heading over here to Stratholm, where it actually says so. Where we first actually entered. So if I enter it like this, I should be... Yes, I am in the live side. In order to get into the live side, you will need to right click and basically reset all the instances, as you would normally do. That will actually trigger uh, for you to be able to actually enter the live side once you cleared out the dead side, which can be found in Eastwall Gate. Okay, once we cleared out this area over here and here, the only path forward will be over here to the Harsinger Forester. Now, he will sometimes be actually found over here, but uh, for the first real boss, we're just going to head on up here. Uh, he is not uh, integral to the actual achievement. And I also believe you can uh, take care of this. And that postman, there we go. No tampering with the mail. Goddamn postman. In any case, the Unforgiven is the first one. Then we can make a full circle to actually clear out all of the other ones. And you can actually interact with the post. Uh, that should also prove quite valuable for your loot. But just in general for an achievement and for the location, that's pretty much it. I'll record if the bosses have anything special to them. And how interesting, you can actually just go through here to the other side. So basically everything I recorded falls through. Uh, so you can basically do it in one run. Uh, so yeah, but I'm guessing it's unlocked because I already did the other side. And I did reset the instances, so there could be some truth to that. But if they're unlocked, that's even better because you can just, you know, run this entire instance in one try. 
Although on the Wikipedia it said differently that is on uh, what's it called? Wowhead. He also said for this boss that he can sometimes uh, actually appear. The one that's over here. But yeah, sometimes he can appear, sometimes not. Timmy is always here. So we're just going to go ahead and take care of Timmy. And we're just going to go to Commander Malor. Okay, and here is the last boss. Now, obviously it's outdated because he used to be human. And that's what it says. Then after a while, when he's at about 50%, he will turn back into his original form. Then after that, you would be able to... Uh, kill him and get the achievement, but yeah, that's basically it.